What is up guys, this is Victor, welcome to your third Backbone.js tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to set and get Backbone model attributes. So let's get started. First of all, let's take this thing out of here, out of here again, and put it at the bottom. And instead of doing hello mommy, well let's leave the hello mommy for now. And let's do daddy, just so we know it changed. So we have a page one which extend which we set it to a website model. So we create a website mo a website model and give it a name of page one. And the website model extends a backbone model. Now we said before that this initialize function happens every time an object gets initialized. Now let's talk about attributes again. Let's go back to the main topic. In here, to pass in some attributes or to make some attributes. We can put two curly braces, and for example, we can say name, and we can set that to the best website ever. Now, to get this value, name, all we have to do is use a function that backbone.js already gives to us. For example, we can do, okay, so that we can actually see what happens, let's do it in the alert. Let's change this to page pages one title is and let's get this variable. And to get that variable, we're gonna append to this message page one dot get. And then here we have to specify which variable we wanna get or which attribute. In this case we want name. So we put name in here. Now let's see what happens. We refresh and it says pages one title is the best website ever, which is exactly what we have right here. Now, we can put many variables next to this one or many attributes by doing something along the lines of, I don't know, let's say this website has a barcode. Barcode, and let's set it to one. If we want to get that barcode, we can do something like and its barcode is barcode. Oh, sorry, that's not how you do it. You do page one dot get barcode. And I'm sorry for going out of space, but let the show keep going. Um, we check the website, we refresh, and it says it right here. And its barcode is one. It's really ugly, but whatever. We don't care about that. So <clears throat> this is how we initialize variables. This is how you get the variables. Sorry, not variables, attributes. I keep confusing the name. And there are two more ways to set attributes. The second way is the following. Page one dot set. We do the curly braces and we say name an even cooler website. So at this point, we change the attribute name from the best website ever to an even cooler website. So let's see if I'm saying the truth here. There we go, an even cooler website. Now let's also change the barcode to 69. I don't know why, I just like the name 61. So barcode is gonna be a number, 69. And let's see if it actually changes. There we go, barcode is, barcode is 69. Now, since I don't wanna go over five minutes, let's do something else real quick. Let's imagine that whoever goes and uses website model doesn't really care about using these variables. What we can do is delete that, delete the setters, and inside this blueprint, which is our backbone model called website model, we can say defaults, and we do the curly braces, and then a comma, because that is backbone syntax, and then we say name, uh, an unknown website. We do a comma, new line, and then we can say barcode is gonna be negative one for undefined. Now this right here should still get this name, and this get right here should get this barcode. Let's see if I'm lying. And pages one title is an unknown website and its barcode is negative one. So as we can see, I was not lying, cool. 
and this concludes lesson 3 or tutorial 3 how to get and set model attributes I hope to see you guys next time enjoy your day bye bye